finish off where we went yesterday. Let's see if we could see a little bit more. Uh, right, we'll see how my glasses, I got different glasses on it working so great. Let me use the old ones. Okay, so well, actually, um, where are we now? Yeah, we were uh, on page uh, Tav Kuch Samach Vav. There it is. And we were down to the last three lines on the right column on the Bredalek. And uh, he's really, he, there's, this is really an introduction by the, uh, by the Apasha. So we'll just finish off. The, I'm not going to go back over it. So let's, let's just finish this off, finish it off. So he's really, this is a flow chart and he's going through the flow of the, the flow of energy from the Tipo. Who tikkun the yud gimel, which is the thirteenth uh, tikkun, umemelo tachta, umemelo tachta, umemazel tach tachta, who benita rabe el das da abba. Then that is given over to the das of abba. Miss Pasha bekol hekets by seven. It goes through his five corners. What does he mean? V'yorid ad yisod ba. And then it just that's that's the way he's saying the language. So it goes into the five kitzvahs. And it winds up in the Yisod, and the Yisod, the Abba Nitten, Besod Zivug, the Yisod, the Ima. So he's talking about Vashar Vashar Nach Dechem Od, so we have to also preface this. Ki Mokhs Di Mokh De Erek Anpin Nikra Elokim. So that's probably a part of his Chedish. So he says, uh, the, the phrase was, uh, Yehi Or Va Yehi Or. So, and then the next word is Elokim. Uh, uh, why is it called Elokim? Elokim is Lashon Den, he says. He said, because of the Gvur Da'atik, which is clothed inside of the Mokhus Dimak. So he says, um, now let's also preface this this little statement in the Eitz Chaim. He said Rabbi Shar Amaduman. He said Shachatipa Kedusha. So this holy tipa that we're talking about, Azos Shenim Shechas Mazal Lilo that come from the upper mazel. I guess it's the mazel eight. Then it goes in the mazel mazel sixteen. Tikun Tikun Aches He Shem Av. Now he says that the eighth tikkun. I'm not sure where this comes from. Shachatipa Kedusha Azos Shenim Shechas Mazal Lilo. Kedusha. Tikkun aches, uh, uh, aches, he shame av. Vinikra or. So the av corresponds to Chachma. I guess it's the yud of the, of the yak. So he said, Vinikra or, ayu and sham. Vizekhab sha'omar, if this is what it said, Vyomar elokim he or. So there's what that says. Shagabarah mamar, the shemokus dima, the erik anpin. So now we've found over here that the mokus dima, the erik anpin, nikra elokim. Who are goiser? This is the one that makes the decrees because the lashon elokim is some kind of a constriction, whatever it means. Who are goiser for omer she yimshach a tipa a kedusha a nikra or yehi or that's the meaning of yehi or v'yehi v'yehi or then they say with add the vav to it she nimshach a tipa kedusha derek mazel the elyon is the concept of that so that he or is the tipa and the v'yehi or it has a vav in it was. And the next beer says something about about like that. For he or should nimsha chatipa kedusha chavederik malza la elyon vayehi or ad kan, and that's the vayehi or as it means the flow. Now we're going to the next one and number hey. So we're going on still yehi or vayehi or bezoer chai kan beer kam kain kain divir yafisha now. So it's really a lot like the yafisha too. Diary kan besod hamshach chatipa. So here it's talking about the beginning of the flow of the tipa. He says on Nikras Or, which is which is called by the name Or. So and this is all explained in the Eitz Chaim Hamal. Amnam Bir Shi Bir Shiyesh Bir 
שיש חילק בבין יהי אור שהוא שורש הטיפה, which is the root, the word, let's see, we said בין יהי אור, which refers to the שורש of the טיפה, which this sounds a little bit like the other one. I uh, like previous the upper shah, Bebechinas das elyon, but is the concept of the upper das. Now, what does he mean? The das of, of Atek? What does he mean? Shu kula chesed, which he says the nature of the das elyon is that it's not chesadim and gavuros, it's only chesed. The bain vayihi or shu hamis pashtas the tipa, that really, once again, it comes to the idea of the spread of the tipa, or since it starts to move downwards into more physicality. So it's the spread between the two. That has within it the Gevuros. So there's a little bit of a gimel down here below. Let me see if I can wear what I have to do here. There's a, there's a gimel down below. And let's see what it says. Uh, it says... Vashorish Adavar Zeche Bechad the Yehi or that concept here, who Bechinas Chesed the Eidor Chav Yehi or Yeh Bechad Bechinas Din it has within it. This is just I guess clarifying this a little bit more. It has it within it with the concept of Din. So he said previously that it referred to the upper Bina which is all Chesed, and then the lower Bina Rei Bechad Aros the Bira Chum So we're going to get to that via Rizal. Shuva al inyan ze kama ma marim bezelra v'dikuni zohar. So there's a whole bunch over there. Let's just keep going over here, back up to Gimel, where we were before, and here it is. He says v'osius yehi haino yak. So he says, what's yehi? So I can explain here. There's something here. He says uh, yehi. That is, it be, it means yud k. That's the first part of the Yud K. That that uh, make a Yichud, and as a result of the Yichud that they make, they are able to put. They are able to. Uh, what's the right word? Give birth to the letter Yud, which is the Tipa. So that Yichud produces the Tipa. Then they ask add a Vav onto it. He says, who sowed his pashta satipa, but the fairest vidas a tachta, shuhu ozvav. Now he gave an answer to the question that we had before, uh, was, it was, it was, I pronounced it Yakovi, the way that he put it. What was the yud doing there instead of the k? And they said, well, they're the same thing, or they have their, their equivalent. And now he wants to t- say that it's actually referring to, uh, to, uh, the birth of, of the tipa. So Rabbi Teferis v'das tachton shuhu ozvav v'zel d'shon o'shon. This is what he says. Briefly, he says a gubar yudat is say the chayichud. So you already know the order of how the yichud takes place. Uh, this is in the eighth chaim, but a bedrash uh, man ki achar. He says, Ki Akashin is Dabgul Begar, so after there is a Yichud that takes place in the Gar. Now, he, he just says that word, but he, in the preface, they want to let us know that the Gar is three, actually three elements, but the Yichud is taking place in Abba Ve'iba Besod Yak. That's the Yud and the K. Before the, uh, name of Ayam, Hoysachatipa Besod Yud, at that point, the Tipa, the Tipa, this is, this is after there's a Yechud, there's a Tipa Besod, uh, uh, Besod Yud, Besod Or. So the, the Tipa is the concept of Or. So it's the Or of the Ain Sof. Or Nikro Yomam. So it's called Yomam, like Kulo, Kulo, uh, so Yomam is Kadlas Chesed. Yomam Chesed Shakula Or, which is all pure light. The, the Chesed, it's, I don't know this end of the quote. Of Yehi or this is the meaning <coughs> of the phrase Yehi or Kadimah the first time that you say it. So the concept here is Yehi or is that Tipa? It's the or Kadimah beYichud Abba beIma that takes place with the Yichud of Abba beIma, which is the Yud and the K Tipa, and then there's a Tipa which is the Yud. So that's Yud K Yud. 
So that's the meaning of Yehi. V'zecha v'os yis Yehi. So vayehi, vayehi. So this is the secret of the phrase vayehi, who his pashtus a chasadim besod vav meshorsham. So this is the spread of the chasadim, which is this, and 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 in the secret of the vav uh, meshorsham, which is coming out from their root, shuhu sod yehi. The hinder shenis arka hatipa. So he, we had to read that again because it really came out of nowhere. He said. The sod, he says, now they're coming over to the sod, Vayahi, who his pashto chasadim, the sod vav. It's the, it's the spread of the chasadim, which is the concept of the vav. It's a middle line. Moshorsham from that, that root. Hanal shuhu sod yehi, the hainu. Shinis arko hatipa shall yud. So, he wants to say that the, the yud, which is the yud part of yehi, Turns into, or it spreads, it lengthens itself out into a vav. A bit of ferris besod vav. And my question would be is, is that the vav here is at the beginning of the word, not at the end of the word, which the way he was doing before was yud, k, is a yikud. They produce the tipa, then the tipa gets itself extended down. That's really kind of what he's saying. Uh, anyway, the uh, uh, once you get, once this tipa gets to teferis, the sham had hits at at Simpson the Hishtanus Abalios. So let me say, and there, once you get to there, then you there's a Simpson and a change. But in, in its nature, but Shunas Bedas Tatum because it's now coming to the lower Das. Let me see if I get this on. The so his Avos are also the secret of the fact that the light now is now becoming more physical. Yesh b'chabrehem din, and as a result of that, then you say this din ad kan. Ba'ayin sham od v'hu v'katsas b'div amidavarov. So there's a little bit of this b'aros the beer hamashulah the fiel rizal. Maybe we'll see some of that in a minute. Let's go down to the bottom. Uh, there's a little bit of an arichus here on number dalad. Number dalad down below. He says he owes he beer azover chai. So he wants to say that whatever he's saying is based on this, based on, uh, this, this, uh, it's Chaim. Not they come as the Vara, uh, uh, so he says, let's go over here and copy, uh, his words and what's relative, and this is what he says. He uh, let's see if I can say, I have a little trouble of seeing this. He that have above the Shem Kedisha, the Vav of the, of the, of the holy name, the Shem Avaya, he, the Yukna de Bris. So the Vav is in the image of the Bris. What's Pshat? Ki Yisod hu Aruch, because the Yisod is lengthened. So it has some length to it. Doimid the Oz Vav, and it's similar to the letter Vav. The Zech of the Yukna de Bris. This is the meaning of the face of the image of the Bris. The, the Vav or the Bris, I don't know which one I want to make. What's a compare it to? But the vav and the the vav and the bris go together. It's the same thing as the concept of the of the spinal cord, the spinal cord which has uh, in in the Rebbe Nachman says refers to it as this gray matter. Who uh, so chut hashidra? So let's go over to the, let's go back to the second to last line over here in this number, Dalad. And it says, Vezehu di, uh, uh, di yukdur de bris. This is the, uh, the image of the bris. So the vav really represents, let's say, like the column of the spine. And what's the purpose of that, which is this long vav? Is to bring the tipa down into the yisod. Shachash is davro besod zivuk elyon, which is in the gar, which is yud yud and k. Uh, let me see how I get this. Uh, uh, let's see where the 
we're gonna go gar episode uh episode ha pal hamal shahim on the shikin. Now let me read the phrase again. Shahshin is Davgu Besod Zivug Elyo, which is the Yichud between Abu the Ima. Besod Hapan, and he says that Yichud is the concept of the, of the mouth. Now, um, maybe we could get some more elucidation on it, but then he explains Shehem Hanashikim, which is the concept of, of, let's say, in relative to actually, uh, Yichud. This is the first part. Let's say, let's say it's the Nashikim part. The Hem base Osi is Yud K. of the Chavaya. So, Chavaoz, Acherkach, Nis Pashet, Atipo. So then after that, the Tipo starts to move. It spreads downwards. Hachishi Yatsim Ozo Zivuga Elyon that comes out of that upper Yichud. The yard the Rebedera Kut the Shidra, and it goes down through the spinal cord, which has gray matter within it. The same, which uh, Rab Sheikh was writing, that it's the same color as, as semen. The yard the Rebedera Kut the Shidra, Shuhu Vov the Revaya, which is the Vov of Revaya. Bosnis Pash the Rebehecho Sadim Chesed Adho, and then you see what happens is the five chesadim then start to spread. They spread from chesed to hod. So those are the five chesadim. V'achakach, klavuz he chesadim, and then after that, so through the shidra, down through the five kitzvahs, down into the yisod. V'nishla oz vav, and it completes the concept of the letter vav. So over here, I'm not sure why he wrote it vav ala vav. We've been, we, he has been writing it just as a simple vav. But anyway, you could do whatever you want, I guess. Vinimsa is so we could see if that has a significance. Timsa should uh Timsa comes out like this. That's what he said but that's the concept of Yehi. Then after that it spreads. It's the, the Yud itself uh gets a long leg. Uh it comes into the Vav and uh uh let me see. Get this, uh, 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 the kids voice in this Pasha Bahem, and then it's, it's, it spreads into them. This is what the Dikunim says. Shahi Tipa is, uh, Shahai Tipa is Arko, uh, uh, but Amuda, M. So the five, the five kids voice, there's actually a middle line in there. It spreads down the middle line, and he said that the me- metaphor before about the spinal cord that is aved os vav sham, and then it makes this letter vav. So then it says va'acher va'acher his pashtos he chesadim sham begufa shuhu os vav. He says acher kach osah of regular tachnon shal vav. Then what happens is that the lower leg of the vav. Dak Maode Isha which is very, very uh he says is very thin, dak or very uh let's say transparent, who Nakudas Atara Shala Yasod is a little p- place called the tip of the Yasod. Uh 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 the Mus Yud Katana of Regal Vav. So it's in the image of this of a small Yud and the leg of the Vav. Gam he kululukal we call how vav kitzvos, and it's also included in the six kitzvos. The chain heats he tsuris tsuris kutz. So I think we have to clean my glasses, baby. The chain heats tsuris kut a kutz shehi vav katana. So it's like a very small cut, a small. So I want to go over his words again because he said something about it. He described it as as uh, a regal, and he described it as very dark. So he said a bit uh so he says, uh, uh, let me see if I got this. Vav katana, the daka. So he says, Vezecha an akuda, uh, nikneses, beze, azua, akuda, nikneses, be yisod, an akeba. This is placed into the yisod of the akeba, shuhu, hey, the ravaya, which is the final hey. Uh, ben nikuda, uh, uh, and it says, uh, uh, so it's called the nikudas sion shabbat. It's placed in that place, which I think is her yisod. Vahaz Nik Rucha Gamar uh Gamar Bia and then this is called really the conclusion or the completing of the Bia. Gamosha Amba Bigamara, the Gamara says of it is Adkan Vareh Vahumon, you can see it later on. Da 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 da. Okay, so that was a little bit of an idea about how this movement goes, and then we have one more in the section. 
and this is going to be the gon. So now let's see what the Groa wants to say. Uh, or Vayahi, or it just explains this just in, in a few words. Vyoma Elokim, who Eric Anpen. Elokim, once again, he agrees with the Yafasha that refers to Eric Anpen. Shabara as Partsufi Abba Ve'ima, that creates the Partsufim of Abba Ve'ima. The Hainan the He, or Shuhu Abba. So the He, or refers to Abba. Vayahi, or Shuhu Ima. So this Muchas creates or brings it out Abba Ve'ima, and as a result of that, the Yichud that takes place, so Yi or is Abba, Vayihi or is Ima, Yon Ayin Sham, and probably get more on that as we go along. And today is, I think, the 22nd of Shabbat. Okay, let's stop that and go someplace else.